Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of ROM, or not ROM editing anymore, it's now Pokemon editing. I changed the title, because technically we're only Pokemon editing right now. And then, I am writing scripts a little bit, I'm trying to learn scripts to work on the actual ROM editing side of things, but yeah, for now this series has changed to Pokemon editing. But if you haven't seen the series before, we are essentially going through the first three generations of Pokemon and changing their typings, abilities, and stats to make sure that all Pokemon are essentially viable. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm using uh, Gen 3 tools. The list of tools I'm using are going to be in the description below. But without further ado, let's continue on where we left off. Um, last time we were on Sudowoodo, and obviously we've done Politoed in Gen 1. So let's go on to Hopip. So Hopip is Grass Flying, Chlorophyll. Oh, needs to sort the moves, but... Um, Falls at level 18, getting just some like really kind of up at level stuff, poison powder, stun spore, synthesis, and essentially it doesn't get a grass move early on. Um, but I thought that this would be okay, is like hop up's gonna be a bad Pokemon, but eventually once it becomes uh, jump bluff, that it will kind of even out like it's bad early game, but it's really good late game. Um, then we have skip bloom that just has some um, kind of just better moves for a mega drain, cotton spore, leech seed. And then maybe if you delay, um, get Sleep Powder. Then you have Jump Bluff, um, getting Aerial Lace, Giga Drain, Whirlwind, Body Slam, Bounce, Sunny Day, Solar Beam, and also Aero Blast as one of its signature flying type moves. Um, looking at stats, I believe that I increased its attack and special attack by 5. Nothing crazy, but this Pokemon is really fast and also has some bulk to go with it. So it's kind of be kind of that annoying like leech seed synthesis type set um, plus like Aeroblast which is pretty high based uh, flying type move and also Giga Drain which is a good stat to also help you heal up. Um, you also have like Stolly moves to also leech seed you can even bounce and um, like stall a little bit that way as well. And yeah that's Jump Off. Jump Off was never really that bad of a Pokemon. It's really fast and can like stall and it's pretty bulky. Um, it's typing is not that great but the things that it does do um like fast sleep powder is what really makes this pokemon special moving forward we have apom which as you can see has uh had a very large boost and that is because apom is now going from base 365 to ambipom stats which is 482 so when we are looking at Am uh, apom we're essentially looking at ambipom um but looking at stats, obviously it has the same stats as Ambipom. So what does that mean? It's a single stage Pokemon, but it is also essentially a two stage Pokemon in one. So looking at that, you have to balance out if this is something that's early game, it's going to be extremely strong. So with that as a factor, um, you're giving it not good moves essentially until it hits for round 30. And then from 30 onward, you give it like regular regular moves. So um, looking at Apom, Natural Cure is its new ability, which works well with its uh, normal typing and also you don't want to get burned. Um, pretty high attack stat, which is going to be the main thing that it's using for and very fast at 115 speed. Um, starting off, you have its bad moves, Scratch, Heal Up, Astonish. Um, then it gets Fake Out 14, Swift, then getting some coverage at Shadow Ball, Brick Break, Shockwave, Body Slam, and Iron Head. So it has a lot of good coverage, even though Shockwave isn't coming off a crazy uh, special attack stat, it's definitely useful for some coverage moves. So definitely when this uh, is around like level 30, close to like 40, um, this Pokemon is very strong, so it might be worth holding on to until then. Moving forward, we got Sunkern, Sunkern and some Floraline. Sunkern obviously being the lowest base stat total Pokemon of like, I think all time. Actually, I think it's replaced by Wishy Washy. Shout out to the Poke Millionaire series. Um, make sure you check that out. Lots, lots of fun Pokemon trivia. But uh, Sunkern evolves with Sunstone. But as you can see, it's absorbed pretty early on. Growth, then Ember. That's kind of weird. Mega Drain, Synthesis, Grass Whistle, Sunny Day, and Giga Drain. And the Ember is because Sunflora is now Grass Fire as well. So Blossom is also Grass Fire. But looking at Blossom stats compared to Sunflora stats, Sunflora is a little bit more offensive than Blossom is um, more uh, special defensive and a little bit more bulky. So this one, Sunflora is kind of just like that all out kind of attacker. Um, 
also has chlorophyll it's good in the sun and looking at its moves it's obviously getting access to sunny day flamethrower giga drain uh block i thought was a cool move to essentially lock pokemon in with you um growth will-o-wisp knock off for some coverage and then fire blast and naturally learning frenzy plant because i wanted sunflora to be a beast that is right obviously uh pro with frenzy plant very strong move con um you have to recharge but in terms of uh npcs uh maybe if you're doing this as a nuzlocke you could also play through it as normal just able to throw off a frenzy plant is pretty huge so yeah that is sunflora and let's continue on with yanma who i'm very excited about because yanma uh in terms of gen 3 is now bug dragon yes and looking at stats you're like 515 where does that come from that is because Yanma going from 390 base stat total is now 515, which is Yan Mega stats. So dragging Yan Mega stats over uh, to Yanma. Yanma has now a very high special attack stat, which works well with this dragon typing, and pretty decent attack stat with um, for its bug typing. Also has like okay speed, but with speed boost, it's very strong. Camp on eyes is also not a bad move as well. And then looking at the moves that it gets, obviously same idea that applies with Apom applies to Yanma where it gets pretty bad moves uh, leveling up. So Leech Life, Wing Attack, um, Twister is okay. And then at 30, that's when you start teaching its real moves. Signal Beam is a strong stab, Dragon Breath, Hyper Voice for some coverage, um, Excessor, Hurricane, which works well with the Compound Eyes, and then Draco Meteor. So obviously um, it's gonna be pretty funny when playing this game you see Yanma come out and it looks like this little baby but it is actually in fact a beast uh looking as if it was Yan Mega but yeah bug driving bug dragon is really cool typing because bug is weak to dominantly fire and dragon kind of resists fire so it gets one of the, one of those weaknesses um in terms of like flying like uh, bug flying compared to dragon I think you have reduced weaknesses because um, bug flying makes you four times weak to rock but with dragon so you're now uh, still weak to ice and dragon but in terms of like uh, defensively dragon is very strong so yeah that is Yanma and let's continue on with whoop whoop whooper save Christmas shout out soaring flying um, water ground typing water absorb damp uh kind of classic whooper stuff um just learning tackle water gun mud shot until it evolves at 20 also getting yawn pretty early on which is cool um quagsar water absorb i think i also increased quagsar's base at total to hit 450 let's look at its stats um uh, yeah it has 105 defense now so it's a little bit more bulky uh, then looking at move, its movesets, it's eventually getting uh, Recover, Toxic, earth, Earthquake, Sludge Bomb for some coverage, Ice Beam for some coverage. And overall, this Pokemon is just bulky, and it does that pretty well. Um, I think normally it gets Slack off, but obviously, uh, I think I just switched to Recover. It doesn't really make a difference, but this is definitely a stall Pokemon. And yeah, that's pretty much it for Quagsire. It doesn't need that much of a jump, just because it's good at what it does, and that is stalling. So yeah, moving forward, we've already done the Espeon Embryo line. Murkrow has got to be one of my favorite changes because I didn't change it to Haunchcrow, but I did give it a very broken ability and Shadow Tag, and it may be too strong, but we'll see. Um, looking at Murkrow's stats, uh, has base uh, 405, uh, obviously really bad abilities. Uh, this is Gen 4 abilities, but Gen 3, it's just Insomnia um looking at stats i increased its attack and special attack by 105 special attack working well with its dark typing attack working with its flying type and then obviously i had to give it shadow tag because murkrow is just like this scary kind of nightmare figure that i thought would work really well with it um although it's not hitting 450 it's a little bit slightly lower it's just a beast but also if you're able to outspeed it or maybe just tank one hit, it will die instantly. Um, but with Shadow Tag, it's a really cool ability. Obviously you're trapped in, you can't switch out. Pack, Astonish, Pursuit, Taunt, Aerial Ace, kind of that same situation with Apom of like early on, you have to give it some bad moves. And then uh, late game, you just go ahead and give it what else it needs. So Faint Attack, Hurricane, Dark Bulls, uh, essentially are its stabs. 
and that is Murkrow. And I think that's going to be it for today's episode. Um, thank you guys for watching. Make sure that you like, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.